Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these lacy golden seed beads earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Ok guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 24 golden 8O beads, 12 per earring and I'm also using 12 red 8O beads that are 6 per earring. These are 11O seed beads in red and golden color and I also use earring findings. This is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 or 12, the smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay my friends, and I'm starting my work by picking up 6 of those beautiful red Ato beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat. Now what I want to do is to make a knot. I'm making a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made. Then I'm pulling gently. And I make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction. Now I want to take one golden bead and I'm going in the next red again and I will continue this until the, the end of this row. Okay, and in my last step, where I add my last golden bead, I go through the red bead and through the golden after that. And I take golden 11 o, golden 8 o, and golden 11 o, and I go in the next golden. Again, I take the same sequence and go in the next golden. again and I will do this three more times Okay, my friends, then I'm going in this direction through the golden 11 o and through the golden 8 o I take three red beads and I go in the following 8 o Okay, and here I take three more. And again. And I will do this until the end. Okay guys, and in my next step I'm going through the first red bead that I have here. I take three golden beads and I skip uh, the red one that's on my way and I go through the third one. 
now I have this then I go through the ato and through the following red bead three goldens skip the one that's on my way and then go through the following ato and through the following red my goal is to exit out of the first of the next three reds in this way I save one movement and I save time and I take three and again repeat the same thing okay now off camera I'll do this three more times and meet you here if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video from here and repeat it here and I'm here guys at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and now what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction and my goal is to exit through one of those golden beads that are sticking out the most the middle golden of the tree that I added in my previous step and I take three reds one eight o golden and three red eleven o's and I go in the next golden then again I repeat three red 11 one 8 golden 3 red 11 and I go in the next golden and again and I'm going to continue these guys three more times and I'll be back okay and here I am at my last step And I do the same thing then I go through these three red beads and I'm aiming for the golden ato take three golden beads and go back in circle through this golden you see I have a loop here between this golden and this tree and I pull and I take nine golden beads and I go through the following golden then again I take three goldens go back in circle through this ato and again nine goldens go in the next ato three goldens go back through the ato and i take here again nine beads guys and i'm going in the next golden okay and i'm going to continue this three nine three nine three nine and i'll meet you here okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last nine beads from this row and check carefully if there are nine all the time because otherwise you will have to go back and make it one more time okay now what i want to do in my next step is to go through four beads in this direction then take three red beads skip the one that's on my way and go through four more beads in this way guys i'm going over this central golden bead before it i have four beads and after it i have four beads and i'm skipping it and adding three over it then i go through these three beads to make them stay in a nice shape then after i go through these three again i go through four beads okay i'm exiting one two three four beads after this ato take three reds skip the central 
fifth bead and go through the next four. Then I do the same thing, go through these three golden beads, then through four more. You could do this step at once or in two movements and then I take three red beads, skip the center and go in the next four. And I will continue this until the end of this row and then I'll be back. Okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last three red beads from this row. going like this and what I want to do in my next step is to reach one of the red beads that are sticking out the most and I'm going to take 15 golden beads and then I'm going in the next red bead. Okay, this is what I have now. Again, I'm taking 15 golden beads and I'm going in the next red one. And don't worry that it is soft at this stage, we'll fix it later. Okay, and again I need 15 golden beads and I'm going in the next thread. Okay, and repeat this three more times guys and meet me here. Okay guys, and I'm adding here my last 15 beads from this row. Check carefully if everywhere it is 15 before you start the next row. Okay my friends, and in my next step what I want to do is go through these first three golden beads and I'm going to take one golden, skip one and go through the following bead. And this is called peyote stitch where the beads zigzag. Okay, then I take one more, skip the following and go through the next one. one more, skip the following bead and go through the next one, again one, skip the following and go through the next one, and fifth time, skip the following and this time go through the next two, okay? And what I want to take here at the angle is just one golden. And then what I do is that I go through the second and the third golden of my next sequence of 15. Okay, this is what I do. Then I take one bead, skip one and go through the following. Again, I'm making peyote stitch here one golden, skip one and go through the following and this repeats five times, one, two, three, four, and five and with the last one you go through two beads after it instead of through one and then I take just one bead and I go through the second and the third beads from my next sequence of 15 and again I'm going to add five, five beads one by one take one skip the following and go through the next this is once 
this is twice third time fourth time and fifth time and at, after the fifth time you go through two instead of one and then continue absolutely the same way. Take one and go through the second and through the third bead here from my next 15. And uh, then continue five singles by skipping one and continue the same way. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see how I'm doing this part and repeat it everywhere until the end. And I'll meet you here for my last step okay guys and as I continue beading here I am at my last step at the first uh, point where I started my work from and now I'm exiting through the third golden one two three through the third golden counting from this red bead and I just added this last seed bead and now what I want to do is to go back through this golden bead okay through this one that is here And I'm going to take two red beads and I'm going in this central golden bead. And now guys, because it's easier for me to work in the other direction, I'm going to just gently flip my work because I'm right handed. It, it's easier for me to go like this. If you prefer the other direction, go in this direction. Okay. Then again, I take two red beads and I go through the following golden and then I'm going to add one by one goldens here at the top part and here near the angle I add two red beads next to the angle and after the angle I also add two red beads then one by one add goldens then two reds again two reds only here at the angle you have two reds and two reds and after that you add golden beads and it's really simple and really pleasant and easy this row because you only fill the gaps that need to be filled and I will continue these guys until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last golden bead from this row then I go through all of those beads and my goal is to exit through these two red beads and after that through four golden beads and then I take a golden bead an earring finding and a golden bead and as I'm exiting from this bead I go through the following one And then what I want to do is to reinforce this joint here by going one more time through all of those beads. And after I reinforce it, I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make here a loop 
I go twice through the loop I've made. I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction. You could repeat this knot several more times, by the way, if you want. And after that, cut your thread. Okay, guys, and now my golden lacy earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also, please like, share and comment. In this way, you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. A lot of work goes in this video, so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.